Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Revival today. We're going to read from Revival today for April the 11th. April 1897. When have you last said thanks? In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. That's 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Our human nature is prone to find fault with people, complain about our circumstances, sulk when we are underappreciated, and worry about the future. We can go days and weeks with nothing but complaint on our minds and coming from our lips. We tend to count our blessings on our fingers, but pull out a calculator to tabulate our burdens. <laughs> Moody had written many letters to some of the most influential people in the world. But this letter written in 1897, near the end of his life, would be his most important. Moody determined to give credit where credit was due in this letter to the Lord. He wrote a simple retrospective letter of his thankfulness to God. He was grateful for the opportunity to be used of God for many years of ministry. He wrote, this year, it has been a great joy to be used after working 40 years and not to be laid aside. And then I have great reason to thank God for my health, not a cold, not a headache, but joy and strength and pleasure in the work. You might be tempted to say, well, I haven't been as fortunate as Moody, or God hasn't treated me that way. I have more problems and pains than I can number. I can assure you D.L. Moody had his struggles. People opposed the gospel message everywhere he preached. His weight was a constant battle, and because of his lack of formal education, he struggled to speak grammatically correct English. But Moody chose to be thankful. After 40 years, he could have no doubt written a book about his troubles, but instead sat down and deliberately thanked God for the blessings. Before you close your eyes at the end of this day, why not take a moment to jot down a few of God's blessings for which you are thankful? Be careful. It may take you longer than you had planned. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Well... I guess this is an appropriate song for that occasion, right? <laughs> when upon life's tempest you are pillow tossed, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one. It will be surprising what the Lord hath done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. When you look at others with their land and gold, then you think Christ Christ's wealth untold. Count your many blessings money cannot buy, your reward in heaven for a home on high. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be discouraged, God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you to the journey's end. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done.
Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Sometimes I mess up on a song and I think, oh, I better go back and correct that. Well, it is what it is. Proof to you all what God and Teresa has known for years. I'm not perfect. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for the day that you've given us, Lord. I pray that you would watch over and bless today. God, help us, Lord, not to pull out the calculator to tabulate the burdens. But God, help us to, to stop and to look before we are even tempted to complain, to count the blessings that you have given us. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. I hope I hope you are well. And if you aren't, I know it probably doesn't bring much, uh, I don't know, condolences to hear this, but uh, you could be worse. <laughs> Sometimes uh, in counting our blessings, and we maybe fail and look and say, well, this could be better or that could be better. And it, and it may be uh, the case, but it could be worse as well. So whatever state you are in today, I pray that you would be content with what God has blessed you with. God bless. Have a great day.